my first appointment to check blood work on him. This rabbit, nah, not eating since last night's sniffles, that's not a good thing. Clients are always nervous about their pets. This is a part of their family. They're very worried until they get that animal back home in their own arms. The surgery is very hard on any person or any animal. It's, it's a major ordeal to go under general anesthesia and have something done to your body. Oh, please let this be easy. Just once. I thrive in surgery. I really enjoy the surgery suite. That's where I feel like I'm in my element. There are days when, when it's exhausting, when you, if you have a really tedious surgery, and then another really tedious surgery, and another tedious surgery. It can be a lot. Oh, patients come in all shapes and sizes, that's for sure. I'm more of a very micro, delicate surgery kind of person, but I can step it up. I can bring on the power tools. I can get the job done. This worked out very, very well. Very, very well. I just want you to gently hold him like this because I gotta look at his little private parts. This is my first bush baby patient ever, so it is exciting when I get a species like that. But I have to be honest that sometimes I say to myself, why is this animal in captivity? You know, you just have to come to the realization these animals are in the pet trade, period. I don't promote that they stay in the pet trade, but they are here. They need my care, and we need to do the best that we can in the situation that we're presented with. Hey, little mama. I heard you just done the photo doll. Oh, cute. Being an exotic animal practitioner, we see a much higher mortality rate than dogs and cats. Some days are great and everybody lives. There's other days where everything comes in dying, and critical and crashing, and there's not a lot you can do about it. We'll see just where it is, how bad it is, and what we can okay. do. There's days where it's just an absolute madhouse. Oh, stink. I need a bunny break. It's like, oh, this is why you need a good zen bunny. That is just a mini vacation in the middle of the day when you can just sit and be at peace with a wonderful rabbit and a wonderful rabbit owner. We know I love the bunnies. Somebody's comfortable. Yes, you're such a sweet, sweet girl. Yes, you are, honey. Everybody should have a bunny in their life. There'll be no more wars.